A long-awaited agreement between the UN and Iran to ensure the peacefulness of Iran's nuclear program may be coming together after a preliminary deal was reached. But in amongst all the politics, it's sometimes hard to know what the facts behind the controversy really are. Iran's nuclear program started in the 1950s with help from the United States Atoms for Peace policy. The US distributed information about how to build reactors to anti-communist countries. In 1968, Iran signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, along with 50 other nations, agreeing to never become a nuclear weapon state. Under this treaty, Iran does have the right to develop nuclear energy. But after the 1979 Islamic Revolution, the US and UN became concerned that the new government would develop nuclear weapons. The problem is that both nuclear power and nuclear bombs need the same basic fuel, enriched uranium. Uranium is a weakly radioactive metal. It's found in tiny concentrations in soil, rock and even seawater, but its presence in some ores means it can be extracted and concentrated for use. It's also radioactive, which means its atomic nucleus is unstable. When it undergoes radioactive decay, it emits a small particle accompanied by energy. Most uranium atoms come in one of two forms, or isotopes, based on the number of neutrons in the nucleus. Around 99% of uranium, found in the Earth's crust, is the isotope U238, while around 1% is U235. During enrichment, spinning centrifuges are used to separate the heavier, more common U238 and the lighter, more useful U235. The U235 can then be made more concentrated. By arranging the centrifuges in a cascade, the uranium can be enriched to usable levels. It's the amount of U235 in a sample that determines what it can be used for. To power a reactor, the uranium has to contain about 3% U235. The energy from this is used to create steam, which drives a turbine and creates electricity. To make a bomb, the uranium needs to be much more highly enriched, usually to 90% U235. At this concentration, a chain reaction can be set off to create an explosion. Iran's nuclear program currently consists of a nuclear power station, three uranium mines, several enrichment plants, a research centre and several other related facilities. The question mark over Iran is whether it is secretly enriching uranium enough to use as a bomb. Since the Iranian revolution, there have been several indications that Iran has at times been making a move towards doing this. For instance, in 2002, an Iranian dissident group called MEK revealed details of a secret nuclear program unknown to the UN, which included a vast uranium enrichment plant. To try to put pressure on Iran to reduce its nuclear enrichment, the international community have imposed economic sanctions. But Iran argues that it's not doing anything wrong. There have been multiple inspections of Iran's nuclear program from the International Atomic Energy Agency but distrust and secrecy have caused accusations of deceit from both sides. On April 2, 2015, a tentative verbal agreement was struck which would lift most of the sanctions in exchange for limits on Iran's nuclear programs. But the final deal is still in the works. The history is complicated, not only because of the science involved, but because of the political world it exists in. However, now that moderates on both sides are engaging in talks, Things may at last be moving forward.